morning everyone we're just at the sunshine coast camping up at the bp because we've um still got major problems with the air compressor so i've pulled it apart twice and still the return valve is not pushing down or something and it's constantly pumping air and we have to pull it apart one more time to fix it Devo. While I drive, I've just been dumping the air at the tank just so it doesn't overpressurize. But my mate on the Sunshine Coast, Dino, he's going to um, get a full valve kit, spring kit, gas kit, rubbers, the whole works. Everything but the piston. The piston's good, man. It's all good. So um, we're just going to camp up at this BP. <laughs> We can't, we stayed here last night. All good, man. There's always truckies in that here anyway. But we're off to go to the beach, do some shopping, and then, um, yeah, I'll pull the compressor off and get it all fixed up. T-Rex might come and get us. <laughs> Why? What do you think, Mum? Well, look at that. Look at that vine being going up that tree. That's it, Rick. Yeah, that's that high rope. Yeah. One day we're gonna come back and do this high ropes course because this would be a passion of ours to have on the farm one day. Looks so Peter Pan living in the bush. chicken dinner. Third time lucky and we finally finished fixing the compressor um, return valve so it doesn't overpressurize when it gets to a certain PSI level. So this black one says is 800 in the tank and this one says stop pushing air. But we found three faults. I'll run you through them. First one was one of the springs seemed to be a little bit shorter. Here. Hey! 
Stop it. One of these springs here, we felt that it may be worn off or accidentally broke when I was gurneying it or something, but, and it didn't have enough push to push the valves in that open. One of the possibilities. The other possibility was that um, when I was remounting, I could have had it turned a little bit and it fully wasn't like able to push down on the valve. Or Dean said there was a bit of a um, lip on the pushes. Maybe it was pushing but not releasing, I don't know. And the other one was one of the tanks, not this tank, but a tank underneath. It was absolutely full of soot muck. Bunch of crazies. So we had the bus parked here. We had to move it, man, because it was like three inches of water on us at our front door. But this is what come out of that tank. And that tank is what sends air and says you were at 800, stop pushing now. So look at it. Oh, it's disgusting. That's a combination of diesel and dirt. Oh. So I've cleaned that out with methylated spirits, but if, if a little particle of that went up through into the, you know, the regulator, as if it's gonna open or close. Oh, look at that sunset on the bus. been the first time we've been out in the car park because it's been so busy trucks coming and going all the time and I've told Jordan not to come on this side of the bus because someone could steal him and just kill him and bury him in the bush but um, we're leaving tomorrow heading to Brisbane see the peoples <laughs>